What is up everybody, it's your buddy Cruzamoto and today we got another install video. Today we're going to be installing the SM Motec frame sliders onto the MT-09. Bam! Show you how to get them done. Alright everybody, so out of the package you're going to get, basically this is like a catalog of all the different stuff that they make. You're gonna get the two bases here. You got your frames and you got your pucks and your hardware to do this and these cool little plates that go over this once you get everything screwed in that make it look all nice. Um, so this looks to be fairly simple. All you're gonna looks like you're gonna need is a, ooh, I hope you got a star bit for these bad boys right here. And then you're gonna need an Allen key. That's basically all you need and then uh, once I get going into installing, I'll kind of give you some do's and don'ts of installing frame sliders as well, too. All right, everybody, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need to get your 5 16 uh, hex nut, and we're going to undo the motor mounts here, okay? Now, just to make sure, if you didn't know, you guys need to do one side at a time, okay? Now, these are a little loose because I've already kind of untorqued them, you know, did what I needed to do real quick. Um, but these are supposed to be at 33 foot pounds of torque. Okay. Just so y'all know, but you're only going to do one side at a time. You do both sides at the same time, taking these bolts out, you're going to have a huge problem with your motor on the ground. Okay. So one side at a time. I cannot stress that. Okay. So you guys are going to sit there. You're going to get your, the original ones out. Okay. Alright, so you got the original nuts out. So now what you're going to do, you're going to grab your deal here, okay? What you're going to do is, you're going to put it together, okay? You got this side here, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you're going to put the nut, the bolt in here, washer on the back, okay? <laughs> and then we're going to put it back in. All right. And then also now we're just going to get this just kind of set up. So now here on the right side here, you got to take this bad boy. Okay. The other big one, it's going to be for the left side of the bike. Okay. So we got to get here, get that on there. And this gives it the room it needs to be from off of here to go on. Okay. Actually, you know what? I want to take this back. Hold on. This washer goes on the other side here because you need something to go over this, okay? So, <laughs> listen to me, but listen carefully <laughs> when I do things. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this mounted back on here. We're gonna tighten this on, okay? And this is basically just getting this bracket on there, okay? This is what you're gonna do. And we're gonna get that all up in the biz here we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up or at least just get it screwed screwing down okay let's get that all up in there I hope this thing's long enough for me to get in this all right so yeah that's good there that's good there all right so what we're gonna do is like I said my torque wrench it doesn't go to the 33 foot pounds of pressure so usually what I just do is put the main strength on it freaking tighten that shit up hella good <laughs> I mean good you don't want this stuff coming up or your engine moving so ah that's probably on there tighter than it was when I took it off all right so we got that bracket on there okay now you're gonna get your puck and the other frame to it now I think I would say it's user preference on which way you want to go. You want it to face this way, the big ugly end out, or you can have it face this way. I'm going to put mine this way. Make sure the lines are holes are lining up, both sides. Okay, get up in here, bam, and now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to just hand put these on for right this second. Okay. So to tighten these bad boys down here, big old loud truck, someone's got a small dick. 
Small dick alert. Small dick alert. Big ass turbo diesel. Um, so, <laughs> pardon that guy in his truck when to make all the noise because he's got a small dick. So, you're going to get your 3 16 and you're going to tighten these down. All right. So, this, no torque specs to it, but obviously you're going to want to make sure it's tight on here, okay? Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Don't tighten it too much where it breaks the puck or anything. So we're good to go on that part, right? Okay. So now, we've got those cool little plates I showed you at the beginning of it, right? These little plates that go on here that require these crazy little tiny freaking things. I don't even think I have a... Yeah, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put these on. I don't have a... <laughs> My thing here isn't even small enough to put these things on here that's craziness I don't know why they would give such tiny little hex star keys or hex key things right here man this is nuts that's craziness I don't even have this so it's like it's crazy man so you guys get that basically this is gonna go on right there you're gonna screw it down and that's how we uh, installed the SW Motec um, frame slider here on the right side of the M209. We're gonna move over to the left side. All right, everybody, here we go. We're over here on the left side of the bike. Now, like I said, I've already undone these real quick. I didn't do them at the same time. Remember, I'm not gonna sit there and tell you don't do this and then run off and do it myself, okay? <laughs> I just did it before I turned the camera on. So, like I said, and then I got smart and I got my extension here. So what we're doing is grabbing the other side now Okay, um, what we're doing is just get both these bad boys ready to go. All right, so washer on here, like last time, on the other bolt here, okay. So now remember, the big piece here, this is going on this side of the slider because it's deeper in here than it was on the other side, okay. So again, put her on, get her on there. I'm gonna hold it and we're gonna go ahead and put that on there and just get it started. Okay. Just get them get them started on there real quick everybody and you can do the rest after that, okay? Alright. So there we are, we got those on. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down now. Okay. Um. Like I said, I'm gonna put them on tighter than they were on here because uh, that didn't seem like it was on very tight. All right, there we go. So we got that side on, okay? Now again, you're gonna grab your puck again. Okay, make sure the holes are lined up where they're supposed to be, and then face these bad boys the way you want them to go. All right, we're gonna put it on here. We're gonna hand do these. Let me do what I did last time. Let me get my extension on here so it's much easier to do here. There we go. All right. So just get them in, get them started. And then I got a surprise for y'all. I found out <laughs> something while I was doing the other side. I was talking about the little tag that goes over this. Um, I found out what actually works. And it's not a... If you have the correct key for it, it's good. But uh, I actually have an Allen key that worked just fine just for tightening them down. It didn't have to be all crazy. All right. Oh, okay, get that out of there. So we're good. So we're going to get that little plate again out for this side. I wish I showed you guys on the other side. Shut up, bird. All right, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna need this super tiny little Allen key, is what you need. Here we are back with this stupid tool. Even the new ones I bought, I didn't have one that was small enough for this, so this is what we're doing, okay? So if you can get this in here, give you these tiny little freaking screws, just get that bad boy in there and just get going. Come on. I had you going. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That's getting started on there. Let me get the other one on. 
Okay. And you know, super quick, simple job. Frame sliders usually, as long as you don't have, you have ones that are no cut and they're just the easy install and stuff, you, it's not going to take you that long to do these kind of things. Now I'm going to shoot that damn bird, my pellet gun, man. Over here making all the noise. All right. So, here we go. Just gonna screw it down. This actually works working pretty good. It's it's actually fitting in it. So I think it what it was is you could either use either or. Um, you know, I think I'm just getting lucky and able to use this on here, but you know, so but that's it though. And that is basically it right here, folks, on how you install the SMO Tech frame sliders on your MT09. Alright. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. As always, love peace and the chicken.